And we say greetings, this is Kabanka Pyramid representing the Lion Voice and Vlog. Make sure that them check it out and stay tuned. See? Rastafari blessings every time. Okay. I see, I see. Yeah. Free Aya gift. Focus. Preparation. Determination. Yeah. That's the key to redemption. And it's last year. How was the journey? Because it's over 20 years now mm -hmm. that you've been acting consistently. Mm -hmm. Most people come into the business a few years, they come in, mm -hmm. they don't last. What do you think yeah. has been the ingredient that has allowed you to last for so long as a working actor. This is your primary source of income. Mm -hmm. And I want to, you know, for all the young creators out there, um, you know, I, I bring people like Mark here because I want you all to see uh, discipline, hard work. You know, you may not be a big movie star, but you're still able to have a consistent uh, life make a living a good living at, at that mm. uh, you bought a house different things that you've been able to do as a result of of acting um, but what what do you think has been your um, secret or for lack of a better word what has been your process in terms of being able to, to have such longevity in the business um, there's so many angles when it comes to um, um, entertainment um, as you know, right? It's uh, you uh, you have to, you know, look presentable. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you have to uh, stay up on top of your crafts. Mm -hmm. You have to, uh, you know, you have to network. Yes. You have to um, be very observant. Mm -hmm. And um, and you and and and. You, yeah, you have to be disciplined. Uh, repetition is is gonna have, that word is is something you have to uh, fall in love with. That, and that's another thing I admire about you again. That discipline for a movie, a lines over and over. Mm -hmm. I've seen some of your process, and you know a lot of people see the glamour, right. and they don't understand. Whatever you want to do to make your dream work, it's going to be hard work if you want to succeed mm -hmm. in it. You know what I mean? Because they might see you in a movie and think, oh, big thing, but they're not, they don't know how many jobs you don't get. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yep. you know what I mean? Yeah. And they don't know how much time you have to submit. When you don't feel like it, you got to oh, still yeah. submit the tapes. I mean, sure. back in the day, you had to go into auditions. Yeah. Talk about that. You know, back in the day, what's the difference between your early career and then now? I know most of the stuff you do is virtual. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there's definitely an excitement about um, preparing and then actually going into the room. Um, uh, there is a rawness and but there, there's so much to take in once you step into that room. There, you know, there's per different personalities. You don't know what mood the casting director will be in. Um, you don't know how many people be in the room. I've been in the room with two people, three people, uh, maybe 15 people, um, depending on, you know, what networks, executives, you know. Um, so, you know, there's that part and there's also the nerves of that too. Um, um, now, and especially because of COVID, uh, a, lot of, a lot of things are virtual. Um, so in that sense, it, 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 it's it's it can, it's convenient in a sense because anywhere in the world you are, as long as you can find a setup or you can you know hunt down a self tape facility, you know it's not always easy. But you know you, you can. Uh, so you actually have to go into a facility to do these taping. You can't do it from home. Or, or you can do it from home, but um, you know it, 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 it can be a lot of work. Um, you know just you know just finding a place to set up the camera in the right way get yes. the right lighting um uh and then after and once you've gone through and perfected it and sometimes you can get a little bit uh obsessive about your takes you know that's why sometimes the facility is, is a bit better because it's a certain time and then that's it right um, but at home you can obsess about it you know in whatever state you might be and you might yeah. be tired you know you're yeah. tired or whatever but then after that then you have to edit it yeah and then you have to um so you you're doing your own editing or you have i'll do it myself i also sometimes i have my uh my, my managers will help mm -hmm. but a lot of the time I, I do have to you know edit it myself and then um and then you have to have the right apps to 
send it out to your rep- representatives mm. and then you know sometimes it doesn't it's not working properly glitches and then you know you know a lot, a lot can go into it sometimes so sometimes a lot of time you go you can go to if you can get into a facility they take care of everything you know the cameras positioning the lighting everything you just come in you work with the person and then once it's taped then they have another person to edit it and then label it, you know um, yeah. you know all right so i i, I didn't realize that it was so much involved in in the self taping process because you know I talked to you and you're telling me you're preparing for this. I didn't realize you were actually going into a physical studio, yeah. mm-hmm. um, and you're saying that um, they also can it, it helps because they help give you some direction. Yeah. So talk to me about um, preparing. How many? How long does it typically take for you to prepare to uh, deliver the, the script? It depends on what, you know when casting wants you know, the tape. Um, sometimes it's uh, it could be uh, sometimes it's the same day, um, and then you. So sometimes you get something and the same day you have to go. In. <laughs> yeah, you learn it as fast as you can. Um, see if you can get into a studio. A lot of time it might be booked, mm-hmm. so you just call in and see if someone canceled and they can get you in. If not, then you have to do your home setup. Um, it could be one day, it could be two days, sometimes it might give it a weekend. Um, or it depends depending on if you're you're busy, you're on a shoot, you know, you're shooting and then you're on set, then you can ask your agent to kind of convey that message to casting that um can we get a few more days extra because he's actually on set right now shooting for these amount of days, you know, and then sometimes I'll be like, Okay, that's fine, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, talk to me about what have been some of your most impactful roles that you have uh, performed in. Um, impact, I would say, uh, um, to the audience, I would yes. say uh, Student Bodies was the first one, mm-hmm. I would say. That was, and you were a series regular. Series regular, yeah. Romeo. Romeo, I was Romeo. <laughs> the ladies oh, yeah, man. The ladies man, yeah. Not too far from reality. Well, you know, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that, you know, that was a really fun show. That was my first. Um, I would say uh, I got to go to a different city to shoot. Yes, I you know? remember. Um, so that was just a, an eye-opening experience. It was a sitcom, so it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, it was. Uh, I was in my own. They put me up in my own condo. Mm-hmm. Um, it was. You know, producers taking us out to dinners and stuff like that. Um, learning you know the how to be on set you know uh uh preparing um all the other stuff that comes with it's not all about what's on screen you know it's all the relationships behind and you know i I tell people on this channel all the time that uh the creative industry or any industry you're in is a relationship business Mm -hmm. but especially the creative industry Mm -hmm. what you see is only a small fraction of, yeah. of the actual business of getting it done. Yeah. You have to know people. Mm-hmm. People have to like you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you. You said it. The casting director took a liking to you, yeah. and she didn't have to do all of those things that she did, but because you had a good relationship. And I'll tell you something about this brethren. One of the most humble mm-hmm. brethren you will meet. You know, um, holy for jokes, but he's also very soft-spoken but also not a pushover. So that's a rare combination. You know, you, you're a stand-up man in terms of how you carry yourself. Right, right. Um, you've never sold out your beliefs because no. of acting. Right. You never went into the Hollywood right. system. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think you would have gone a lot further had you compromised your integrity. Could have been. You know, but yeah. you, you, you chose not to. You think that's part of your uh, Jamaican background that has given you that base, that fortitude? I think I, I think for sure. You know, um, it's a you know a very uh, the strength and pride you know mm-hmm. with, with the Jamaican culture, and um, there's also that um, the, the the confidence that uh, you know there's something about the. Uh, the island that um, is very gifted, mm-hmm. you know, and the people, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so I, I, I mean, yeah, I definitely feel like I have a, a quite, quite strength, you know. And I, um, um, I don't want to pull, but, you know, 
I don't have to be the loudest in the room or whatever, you know. But I definitely have uh, confidence in myself. Beautiful. And um, if if a director came to you now and said, "Mark, I have a, I have a, a million dollars for you, but <laughs> I need you to put on this dress." Right. You know, what would be your response? It would probably be no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I don't know, but I had a lot of experiences and, um, um, you know, I met, I met a good amount of people. I could have mm -hmm. went down different roads, but as time passes, you just, I just see what is more important to me and um, what might have looked glamorous, you know, years ago. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't look as glamorous. It, it just, I just see people are just people, yeah. you know, they're, they're just people. And no matter how much um, money you have or whatever you have, people go through their struggles, struggles. So we're all just people. And, and you see a lot of the people who do compromise, you know, you, you find out they have mental health issues, they have drug, you know, drug abuse, yeah. because it's hard for them to look at themselves in the mirror, knowing what they did to get to, that, that's why I never envy somebody to where they are because right. you might not be willing to have done what they exactly. what they did to get there. Right. You know what I mean? And, and that's also very important for young people who are watching to understand that just because you see someone getting all the accolades right now, mm -hmm. you don't know what, you know, how much they had to bow or to compromise to get there. And it's better mm -hmm. to, to work hard, um, you know, even with my YouTube channel, you know, I could easily call up people and, and you know, tell people subscribe, subscribe, and mm -hmm. you know, get to where I'm, uh, you know, that, that monetization. But it's better to, to do the work, put in the work, and let it organically grow mm -hmm. um, because that's fleeting. I know a lot of people who have a lot of subscribers on their YouTube channel, but they still haven't monetized because they don't have the, the watch hours. So people just what click mm -hmm. to. to Support you, but they're not really into your content. Right. You know, interacting, I mean? and, and, and interacting, and engaging. So it's better to do things the long way, uh, and you also build muscle that way. Because right now you're a seasoned actor, mm -hmm. so anytime you do get a role, you know, you you have an impact in that role. I, mm -hmm. I look at the comments on your YouTube. Mm -hmm. You have a very active following. Mm -hmm. um, I've been trying to get you to start your own YouTube mm -hmm. channel and, and do some things because. You, you really, you know, your fan base, there's so many people who say, this was my first love and I mm -hmm. love him from 17 again. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, this been my, my husband. And, yeah. You know what I mean? So you have that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's natural. It's not something that it you, is. you've tried to cultivate. Talk no, about it's that. not. You know, it's, um, I've been on, um, you know, like there were student bodies and, mm -hmm. and that, that's a massive following here in um, Canada. Canada. And, and um 17 again it, you know it's a it's a massive following in the states um also oh, that uh, was with tia and Tamara. Tia and Tamara. yeah, they're yeah. The twins yeah um and um you know uh, i would say flashpoint was another big one yeah but uh i you know i just feel i just feel like um god has given me these things and um i feel that He's giving me these things for a reason, and that's what I roll with. You know, I don't. Uh, I think I feel like what is for me is for me, and um, what I'm doing is supposed to help people in some way, um, and that, that, that's that's enough for me. That's what I that's what I stand on. Yeah, free I a gift, focus, preparation, determination, yeah, that's the key to redemption, I'm the last guy, I'm a Gideon. Hey yo, this is for the people who stay in court with Dida. Criminal cases or child support, it's either entertainment or go play sports. That's the choice that them give you when your skin is black. The ghetto neighborhoods, they was filled with crack. Hard to move to the other side of the tracks. We work all day, plus we paid our taxes. Still, but the land treat us like we second class. Wanna profile us when we stepping past. And when we drive, they follow with them lights. A flash, a flashback. Remembering back in the past. Escape plantation, crawl through the grass. When Babylon fall, then we 
all would laugh They keep building them walls But them all will crash Because the people must be free Exodus, well that's a must for me We stay hungry when we on the grind We stay hungry cause we was born to shine We stay hungry, we gotta use our mind We stay hungry, ain't got time to waste time Stay hungry when we on the move We stay hungry, ain't got no time to lose We stay hungry, we got our minds to use We stay hungry, tell them knowledge is your food hey, yo, this is for my people who stay at work all day Said them gotta work for them pay Sometimes it hurt but them still find a way To make ends meet Sometimes them gotta pray Some slave in them jobs to them old and grey I'd rather live like an angel Fly away Some say that they wanna be a thug They just wanna be respected No love that's why they stray Some drunk off a Hennessy and Alizé Some just punks I could spot them a mile away Cause their style is wild, my mind civilized Cause it's coming from the yeah, banks of the Nile. Nile Tell Babylon, release the juvenile So the youths can see what them want to achieve Proper education, that's what we need Tell the youths that it's better to know than to believe we stay hungry, when we on the grind we stay hungry, cause we was born to shine we stay hungry, we gotta use our minds we stay hungry, ain't got time to waste time we stay hungry, when we on the move we stay hungry, ain't got no time to lose we stay hungry, I got our minds to use we Stay hungry, tell them knowledge is our food.